Hello, everybody. Welcome to 2023. This is the second video for the week, for the first week of 2023. And you know what? It's been a bit since we've done some expanding at our church. So we're going to take some standing postures today. And with that said, we're going to also using our chair. Just a little chair, right? This is about making things accessible and fun and also about self care. So hopefully, <laughs> these videos are helpful for your self care journey. With that said, though, Please feel free. If you know it's in your body, don't do it. Lay down, switch your rock, and take shy pose. Pick one of the posture that feels good in your body. Remember, the only thing you really truly ever have to do on your yoga mat is breathe. So, with that said as well, please feel free. If you'd rather read a book while you're watching this video, then you will find with me. Not a problem. This is your time to honor your space and your body. So, please be listening to it. Pay attention to what it has to say. It will help guide you. So we are going to befriend our chair today in some standing postures. So here we go. So I want you to face your chair, the hip width distance apart. Shoes on, shoes off. I always tend to use bare feet just because I like to do a little yoga for a good Holding on to your chair. I want you to lift your toes and one toe at a time, or as best you can. Pinky all the way down to your big toe. One more time. Lift your toe. Pinky all the way down to the big toe. Finding the back on the ground. And now we have our nice stable base. So check your alignment. Check make sure your core is engaged, supporting your back. Right? None of us are ever perfect. We need to be very careful of our injuries or anything. I got a pinky lower back, so my poor core being engaged. Is beyond important to protect my lower back. So, but using the chair as well for support, just so you have a little bit of extra with you. I want you to just stand here for a minute, head facing forward, find an alignment, shoulders if they've creased up, drop them back down, and take a few breaths. You feel what it feels like to stand strong. What does this feel like? And start to walk your feet back or push your chair up, whichever feels better to you. To be able to you still have some hold on your chair. And we're going to find a stretch. So we're going to find basically part of a square. So long spine, knees and hips are still in alignment. This should hopefully be a gentle stretch, right? Versus if we drop our hands all the way down, that kind of intensifies it. So if you'd like to intensify it, please feel free. Hands can hit the ground, forward fold all the way. From here, take this moment, and you're also going to be a shoulder stretch this way. So take this moment to feel this out. Core engaged. What does it feel like? Root your feet down, continue to root them down, lengthen out your arms. And then walk or roll your chair back up. Back to center. Put your right hand on the chair. Takes oh, to the side of the chair, I guess, for lack of a better way to go. And then reach your arm, your other arm up and over. So it takes your left arm up and over. Side body stretch. From here, though, rather than going back up and over, what I want you to do is take your arm, drop it down toward the chair, bringing it all the way back up and over, making a circle. Going back to the circle. Do two more. And this is number three. And then now you can come back up. All right, if your shoulders allow for it, feel free to bring your arms back behind you, taking a bind. If that does not feel good, not a problem. Look your palms to the ceiling. Whichever feels good for you, just taking that bind. And I want you to feel the difference between what it's like to have just one hand kind of bound or flipped. So we're rotating and kind of rotation in our arms. And breathe. And then release. 
just my desk. All right, just because I need to be fixed in the camera, I'm going to move my chair. You can just flip around. <laughs> so once again, find your stability. This time, left hand on the chair. This hand over the right arm. Oh, that's an over. And then side stretch. So remember, this is not about collapsing in on our side. Just make sure if you think of a beach ball there, that will help. And the same thing, circle. So reaching towards the chair, stepping back and around. And you don't have to do this. This is not a MF2. You can even just come up and willow up and out if that feels better. And circle number three. And again, you have your choice of flipping your palm or taking a bind and your back. For me, the back side of my hand is what's facing my back. And again, take a notice, what does it feel like? You need a side much tighter in the shoulder. It doesn't take a lot to get massive amounts of you know, work or stretch, you know, stretches or whatever. It's only massive amounts. If it's just enough, I don't need any more. <laughs> you don't need force or brain. And then release. All right, once again, let's take our half box. So find that half box, find that stretch, find that support. And this time, notice how do your shoulders feel? Any different? Same. Okay. Walking back or moving your chair back. Okay, here we go. Taking some balancing. So I figured with the new year, we need to find our roots and we also want to reach new growth. So you'll hear me. You might talk about trees a lot. I like trees. I think they're fantastically beautiful analogies that come from nature. So tree pose. Lots of options here. You can stand here in Tadasana. Tadasana in and of itself is actually a lot of work. If you're really standing in Tadasana, really engaging all these pieces of your body, lengthening your spine, drawing your shoulders down, core engaged, palms shining forward, or if your arms are up overhead, facing each other, great amounts of work. I have had teachers who have had to, Miss Bridget and Deb, had to stand there for multiple minutes, 20 plus minutes. And they sort of sweat. So it can be a lot of work. So but I, say, I tell you that because don't undercut you know, do postures. There's a lot that goes into them. You can hold on to your chair and just lift your foot. Fantastic. You can actually take different variations of tree pose. So I know this is kind of I couldn't get the camera to work exactly so you can see everything. You can put the ball of your foot on the ground, rest your heel on your ankle. First variation. You can lift your leg up and put your foot on your foot. You can come all the way up to tree pose. If you're a study believer or have done Vikram, you can actually take the, the Vikram, the hot yoga version of it too. So I'm going to take this version of it. And we're going to start with lifting your right leg and your left leg is going to be grounded. So before you do that, I want you to think about rooting into the earth with your standing leg. Imagine that there's roots just shooting out of your feet. Lengthen all the way up. Put your crown of your head and reach towards the sky. Then pick your leg up and put it where you want it. You can let go of the chair at any point if you'd like to, but feel free to pull onto the chair. Push your foot and your side together. So you've got this inward shooting towards the midline. You may hands at heart center, one hand at heart center. You may grow your branches. No matter what posture or where you put your arms, where your foot is, I want you to imagine that again, those roots are reaching down and your branches, wherever your arms are, are reaching out to the world, reaching towards the sun, reaching towards the sky. You're getting both roots and leaves. Breathing. Maybe close your eyes and maybe smile. Maybe send a little love to yourself. This is your tree pose. For me, I feel a sense of gratitude and I just quiet. 
Posture's bring up different emotions, thoughts, and feelings. And what's going to happen? And come back in the way you came out, mindfully bring your legs back. Legs back down. Again, you can just come up. I'm moving my chair. <laughs> okay, this time your right leg is grounded. Take the time again. Imagine that you have roots shooting out of your feet, feeling the earth beneath you. How do you get nourishment? Place your foot where you like it, your leg, and squeeze towards the midline. Shoulders drop. Find your variation where you want your arms. Same thing here. Roots and wings. Roots and wings. And breathe. Close your eyes and smile. Let go if you want to let go. No expectation. Be who you want to be. And come back out the same way came in, very mindfully and gently bending it. So I'm so inspired. I want to do one more posture. So I might go just a little bit over, but I think it ties into what we're doing. So truth be told, impromptu. So we're going to actually set up for warrior two. So totally optional. If you'd rather end the video here, feel free. But I want you to set up for warrior two. So we just found our roots and our wings. Let's get some strength behind that. So there's some symbolism that I'm having in here. So stay taking the same grounding. Taking your right leg as your bent knee. So again, knee over ankle, and you can't see that very well. And heel arch alignment. Hold your arms out in your warrior two. Core engaged. I want you to sit into your warrior two. If you want to let go of a chair, feel free. You want to hold on to a chair? Let's go. You know, hold on to it. Don't let go. Hold there. It's there for a reason. What I want you to do while you're here. And I want you to feel into just that strength of that warrior two. With that said, I want you to get root down through your feet. Spine low. This time, since your arms are either holding onto a chair or reaching out, you're going to have potentially one arm at least reaching out. I want you to reach past you with your fingertips. Energetically, really reach, extend the edges of your tennis gear past them. Get into there. Feel this posture. Inhale, arms straighten your legs, arms up. Again, you have one arm. Exhale one more time into the warrior two. Feel into it. All right, switch sides. This time, your <laughs> left leg is your bent knee. Your arch alignment. Ankle and knee aligned. Find your warrior two. So same care as on the other side. Find it here. Core engaged. Shoulders are down your back. And your arms out elongated or holding onto the chair. What I want you to do again, reach past the edge of your tennis gear. Really reach, extend, ground through your feet, lengthen through your spine. And arms up, legs straight. Exhale, set it up. Slowly put yourself back into your warrior two. Feel that warrior two. Feel that strength. Feel that power. Feel what's inside of you. Thank you all for <laughs> letting me add that on. Sometimes I have to go on intuition. I'm not always going with what I'm saying. <laughs> so. Thank you so much for big guys bearing with me on that. I'm so excited to know that you joined me today. I'm actually leaving today's session feel more energized, really excited. And, you know, you know, I'm not always about relaxing. We can energize, we can ground, we can do all sorts of things. But I hope that again, your 2023 has started off very well for you. It started off with hope, and in my case, I got, you know, it was well. <laughs> but I hope that it has started off for you. 
because that doesn't look like fun. So thank you, friends and community, for joining me today. I'm so thankful that you did. Feel free to follow me on social media. I'd love to like, comment, subscribe. These videos do help. I do want to hear from you. I don't make this offer <laughs> lately. I actually am very serious. If you like hearing from you all. And once again, thank you so much. Thank you for taking the time to take care of yourself. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Take care.